Let's do a little thought experiment for a second. So imagine a world where you can't refuel your car. Gas stations, they don't exist. You get one tank of gas when you buy the car, you use it up, done, that's it. You gotta throw it away and buy a new one. Except everyone does this, and so the streets are just littered with cars that otherwise work, they just don't have any gas. That sounds utterly absurd, right? What if I told you that is exactly what happens in space right now? Except the cars are satellites that cost hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars, and even though you can't see them, satellites are critical infrastructure to life as we know it for both civilians and the military. Everything from GPS to weather forecasting and increasingly connectivity. So when a satellite dies, when it runs out of fuel, it's a very bad day. So the US Space Force wants to figure out, can we refuel satellites, and if so, how? A few a few years ago, Space Systems Command, or SSC for short, created two programs called Tetra 5 and Tetra 6 to test in-space refueling technologies from commercial companies. SSC is the acquisition arm of the US Space Force, meaning they take a problem the Space Force has and then they source technology solutions from commercial industry. Besides finding a way to keep using perfectly good satellites when they run out of fuel, which can and does happen for a variety of reasons, the Space Force is also interested in something called maneuver without regret. To move around in space, like to avoid space debris or assess a potential enemy threat, you need fuel. But again, right now, fuel is a very finite resource. We need to get to a point where it's not and fast. Commercial industry in many cases can help the Space Force develop these technologies and capabilities much faster and cheaper than ever before. If this sounds interesting to you working at the intersection of government and industry tech development, there are really amazing career opportunities available at Space Systems Command. You can learn more at spaceforce.com careers.